Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Well, it's been nearly a week now, and the news about Thandie Newton, or Thindalway Newton, is still big news, because people are still talking about it. But I want to bring you to a different angle with this. Because Mrs. Newton spoke out and stated that she was very sorry to all of her dark-skinned actresses because she felt as if though she was the chosen one. And she wanted to apologize for stealing their men and their truth. As if there is some truth to that. But I want to bring you to a different point with this right here. Because she was apologizing to darker-skinned actresses and what she, in effect, did was shit it on a lot of light-skinned actresses. Her statements and her assertions were very damaging to lighter-skinned actresses. Because with a statement like that, what she is, in effect, saying, I got hired primarily because of my light skin. So that, that in effect, is kind of like saying... The directors who hired me were colorist. The producers who favored me were colorist. The agents and managers who took me on were colorist, based upon my light complexion. So what this has in effect done is that it has diminished really her ability and what she is saying, it diminishes the abilities and talents of a lot of light-skinned actresses. Now, mind you that Mrs. Newton was in a movie called Beloved. And in that particular movie, Beloved, she gave an outstanding performance. Mrs. Newton, to me, was the best actress for that particular role. It was a very difficult role where she played a flesh-and-blood ghost. So that role was definitely, definitely an Oscar-worthy performance in which she gave. And in my opinion, regardless of her complexion, she was the best actress for that particular role. Another one who gets caught up into this colorism thing is Zendaya. She's another one who asserts that a lot of her success is due because of her light complexion. But if anyone has seen Zendaya recently on Euphoria, we know that she is an amazing actress, and that is an amazing performance in which she gives. And to me, dark skin, light skin, polka dots, she's the best actress for the job. But see, when these actresses make this assertion that somehow it's based upon them being light skin, they're in effect diminishing or taken away from their abilities, their training, and their talent. And they're in effect saying that a lot of light-skinned actresses are basically there because of colorism. That could be true, but for the most part, I do not believe that it is true. And the reason why I do not believe that it is true, as I've touched on before and I will say again, the most successful actress, talk show host, entertainer is a black female, Oprah Winfrey. Show me a light-skinned entertainer who's a billionaire like Oprah. Alfred Woodard is a very accomplished actress, dark skin. So is Viola Davis. So is Angela Bassett. So is Regina King. Both of them at the moment, at the moment, are bigger actresses than both Thandie Newton and Zendaya. Beyonce, who can outperform Queen B? Are you telling me that Beyonce's accomplishment and success is based upon her being light skin? I don't think so. Because had Whitney Houston would have never had a drug problem and gone through what she did, I truly believe that she probably would have been the biggest selling female artist of all time. She would have been a superstar three decades in the making. So I think that Beyonce's talent is based upon her charisma, her abilities as a dancer, as a singer. She captures the audience. It's based upon that. We could look at Kelly and Michelle. They just do not have the confidence that Beyonce has. 
They just do not have the it factor that Beyonce has. So Thandie Newton's statements have just done a lot of damage all around. And you have got to be very careful when you start speaking things like that. This is why actresses, entertainers, are not the best spokespersons for social issues. They don't really understand the issues a lot of times. They look at it in black and white. And it's just not that simplistic. And basically, basically, she was in effect, as I've stated before, telling darker skinned actresses, I'm sorry that I have an advantage over you, that you're dark skin, that I'm looked upon as being more desirable, prettier than you, palatable to white audiences. I'm sorry for you being burdened with darkness. That's what she was in effect saying. And as I've stated before, this comes from a superiority complex that her and people like Zendaya do not realize that they have. They believe that they do have an advantage with being light skin, but Hollywood is run by white males and white people do not see color the same way that black people do. Meaning that in their mindset, someone like Alfred Woodard, Viola Davis, Angela Bassett, Kerry Washington, Regina King can have just as good a shot as a lighter skinned actress like Zendaya or Thandie Newton. However, if Hollywood was run by black people, then obviously the lighter skins would have the advantage because it's black people who tend to favor the lighter tones, not white people. Remember, Oprah's a billionaire. Queen Latifah, as I stated before, is worth like 70 million. All of these actresses like Kerry Washington, Viola Davis, Angela Bassett, who is the highest paid actress on TV now, by the way, are all worth more than a Zendaya or a Thandi Newton. So Thandi Newton's statement has gone a long way. And this will be a wake-up call for her and other light-skinned actresses on what to say and not say. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you all beyond and through.